Good evening, dear citizens of the world. Mission seekers and enlightened leaders. Her name is Virginie. His name is Vincent. She's an exec. He's a poet. She's a doer. He's a dreamer. She's a servant leader. He's a storyteller. She focuses on growth. And is driven by good. We know that one can't go without the other because good plus gross equals great when we add them together. Combined, we believe we are an allegory of the balance we need to elevate our positive impact to new heights. New flights, new lights, new lives, new rights, new sights, two opposites that unite and intertwine inside all of us to be one of humankind. It's true. How could our future be sustainable and desirable if both of our ambitions are irreconcilable? In our collective intelligence and universal conscience lies the potential of a societal miracle. To care not only about the outcome of humanity, but also its income. So please come and join us in this new narrative, the regen narrative, imperative, innovative, inclusive, collaborative, and not solely competitive, focusing on our indivisible connection and not our perceived separation. The universe in a unique verse, the unity inside humanity, the metamorphosis of our cosmos and osmosis as our one and only true oasis. Yes, sustainability is our common responsibility and our earth shot for a lasting prosperity in the name of our own vulnerability. So let's make this decade one of sobriety. Yes, sobriety, this moderate style of living with harmony, circularity, and biodiversity is a new model of society, a mix of scientific and poetic ecology. This is our invitation for our home. H-O-M-E. Our humanity on mission Earth. Home, as life is a miracle. But Blue Marble is in trouble. Shh. But first, let's meditate on the state of our delicate planet to acknowledge and elevate towards our common fate. So please, close your eyes, relax, and take a few deep breaths. Are you hearing this voice? I am my ancestors' wildest dreams. And now let us embody the wildest dreams of our future children as well. Global warming was just a warning. If we are the first generation to see the effect of climate change, we are probably the last one that are given a final chance to act. So open your eyes and rise now for a future that reconnects with nature. Yes, everybody, let's all rise. Us, not the temperature, but us as sincere leaders. And take a big step on a reset with our also diverse skill sets. Post-capitalism in its core mechanism should serve and protect all living organisms as its highest form of humanism. So are you ready? To be an impactful chief sustainability officer, to be a decisive CEO, a chief enlightening officer, and recenter and accelerate. Realign and elevate. Really shift and celebrate. Take your seat aboard the Enlightened Leader Spaceship to reach our uplifting human destiny. Last call. Ready for takeoff? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. What will be your one contribution to design an enchanted horizon? Don't just compensate carbon emission. Raise the bar towards true regeneration to secure your return on investing in what is protecting the living and not just making a living. And raise your hand if... If you have a true desire to do good and have a clear plan of action that includes net zero emission, if your innovations aim at waste reduction, eliminating plastic pollution and fighting biomass extension, if your value creation is aligned on water restoration and reforestation, Let's be the regeneration of our human revolution, solutions beyond intentions, 
And may this be our collective legend, our call of heroes, our corporate dedication, our spiritual life mission. Collaboration over competition, mutual aid as a natural principle for a thriving society. People, purpose, planet, profit, and poetry as the 5P matrix of sustainable prosperity. In the end, if we are great at driving growth, we will be great at doing good. It's all about balance of everything and body, of wins and losses. So search for the W's, for the win-wins with all of us, dream teams. Chin chin. chin. And search for the L's. Yes, take the L for once. The L of life, love, light. In anything you do, please always choose life over profit. Life over profit. We're born to be alive and reborn to be aligned. After the why, it's the rewild. After the by, it's the real life. Do you know what the letters life, L-I-F-E, stand for for us? Love, Love is, is forever. forever. So let's take care of each other, like we do for the planet all together. And may this mantra of balance and elevation be our uniting foundation for a sustainable destination. And let's make the future our greatest human adventure ever in harmony with nature. So when we say our future, we want you to yell with nature, our future. With nature. Our future. With nature. Our future. Our future. Thank you. We're all magnificent, but also very interdependent. So let's be resilient and not arrogant to co-create a new abundant renaissance. Epic, the future will be magic or tragic, depending on how we act in it to save it. And we'll be successful only if our planet remains livable and peaceful. So let's all be grateful and careful. Mankind is wonderful. We're just all together, the regeneration of life. Thank you for having us. It was a blessing. And, and always, always remember, love, love is, is forever. forever.